Okay. Right, check one, two, one, two, one, two. Perfect. Just get your name on tape first of all and how you spell your first and last. Devin Peters, D E V O N P E T E R S. And I'm the president of the University of Regina Student Union, URSU for short. You seem pretty happy today. This is very exciting. So if you get tennis like that, you have to build a long process to come to the UMR. So how does it feel knowing that it's moving forward and become a reality? It feels like we're um, we're catching up with the times. It's, you know, I, I think um, it, it's an amazing program. It's going to bring a lot of benefit to our students, and so I think that this is really, uh, really a step in the right direction. An exciting step for the University of Regina. Yeah. And for yourself, when you're running for president, um, you passed sports one of the big things on your platform. Uh, as a field known that one of your biggest provinces has been fulfilled, I, I think it's awesome. Um, but I, I really. You know, this, this wasn't a personal thing. Uh, we, we've got a whole crowd of people standing just out of the frame here uh, that put in hundreds of hours, uh, thousands of hours, and so it, it feels really phenomenal to be part of it. the team of people, frankly, that, that brought this to fruition. And any idea when students can expect that you pass to actually be in place? So uh, the next steps are uh, are in the works. Uh, the city has to, uh, of course, purchase five new buses, and so uh, the timeline for that sounds like it will be uh, hopefully within the next 12 months, so hopefully a fall 2016 launch. Um, but uh, if there's any delays, well, we might have to push it back another year. But uh, currently we're aiming for fall 2016. Why is this good for students? I think that um, we, we heard a lot of different things on the stand today that all speak to why that's a favor, but um, a couple of points stick out to me particularly. Um, one, cost owning a car is, is basically mandatory to go to the University of Regina because of its location right now and because of the level of transit service we have. Expanded transit service um, for our students will mean that students can save a lot of money um, and, and it makes education a lot more accessible for them. I also think uh, that uh, it will benefit a lot of students um, who have complained to me constantly over the years uh, about lack of parking uh, and parking accessibility on our campus so it will really benefit them. And, and finally, I think, um, I think that it allows students to take care of, uh, of something uh, or to work on something they've, they've spoken about, caring about for years, and, that, and that's sustainability. I think students now more than ever are thinking about the green future, and um, this is a huge step in that direction. Just need clarification, one background point. Is there an opt-out clause in this or something? Or? There are, there are opt-out clauses, and, and there's some confusing words in there. Every single member of the University of Regina Students Union was allowed to vote in the referendum. Um, and, and we were lucky enough to have 25% of them vote, um, which is a significant jump in turnout for us. Um, I, the uh, the opt-out clause uh, currently states, or, or, or states and will state, uh, that uh, students within one kilometer of campus and students uh, living uh, uh, outside of city limits have the opportunity to opt out. And so um, we'll, we'll be putting together the processes to facilitate that once the, plan, the pass is in place. And how many members do you have then? Uh, it varies depending on the semester. Uh, in the winter, it's typically around 12,500. Now, I know you said that you don't, uh, you've looked at the summer options, but anyway, you can revisit that if this. We can absolutely revisit it in the future. It would likely be a similar process, a referendum, and students bringing it in themselves. Um, the price point has to be negotiated separately just because the pool of, of students that would be uh, in that program would be very different from the pool that's in fall and winter. And so we just have to you know, see how many RC members there are in the summer and how interested they are in the program. But the fall and winter students um, who participate in this referendum have spoken very loud and clearly. And what price point are you expecting? Is it still 70 to 90? Uh, yeah, we've, we've been saying uh, for the last couple of meetings in the range of 80 to $90 as we've refined our estimates, um, but we still haven't nailed anything down uh, solid yet. Uh, we'll wait for better projections of student enrollments until uh, before we do that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Devin Peters, D-E-V-O-M, P-E-T-E-R-S, at University of Nice University. Okay. 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 Okay